John Edwards here talking about contamination control fundamentals uh, and summarizing the steps uh, uh, that we take to properly select uh, the correct filters, putting them in the right place, monitoring the system and make sure to uh, uh, give uh, the customer maximum efficiency and, and the least amount of downtime possible. Um, uh, number one is determine the actual desired target cleanliness level of a system uh, by looking at it as a whole and picking the most sensitive component uh, and defining that target level. Uh, number two is selecting the, uh, the right medium, uh, high performance, um, uh, high efficiency uh, filtration and at what micron level um, depending on the system where to filter, whether that's in the pressure line, return line filter, or a research uh, type filter. Um, selecting a good fill of breather. We discussed how important it is to have a good fill of breather to catch those airborne particles uh, before they make their way into the reservoir. Uh, practicing good contamination control, um, good housekeeping, uh, not leaving filter caps off in a dusty environment, uh, uh, not stuffing rags and hose assemblies, uh, uh, things of that nature, uh, and also verifying the results by uh, either pulling fluid samples on a um, uh, proactive maintenance type schedule or by some of the various diagnostic equipments that, uh, that we can supply where uh, the customer on site can actually do real-time isocalinous cleanliness levels, trend analysis, and um, uh, any ways that we can be proactive to um, uh, maximize our efficiency. Thank you.